Hello and welcome to Riverside Tech. Today we have a review of the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air is an Ultrabook laptop made by Apple and it was initially released in 2008. But it's seen some upgrades during that time and the laptop comes in 13 inch and 11.6 inch screen sizes although currently the 11 inch has now been discontinued. Let's look at the outside of the laptop and here we can see that it is made of a single unibody aluminium design and it's a design that's now become very well known around the world and you see them in everywhere in like coffee shops at university things like that. The laptop's build quality is impressive and I feel only recently Windows laptops have actually started catching up to the fit and finish of this laptop. And that's impressive work on Apple's part really. Now the keyboard provides adequate key travel for a laptop and it does feel great to type on for extended periods of time. Meanwhile the glass trackpad is still one of the best trackpads on the market with excellent precision and great feedback while your finger slides smoothly over the glass surface which is better than some textured trackpads I've used on Windows laptops before which tend to not track very well and feel rough on your finger. Now, the only trackpad I'd say which would rival this is the new trackpads from Apple themselves, which are on their other laptop lines. Uh, these are the force touch trackpads and, and they provide a, a new mechanism in order to click, which feels better and they're also precise and they help with the touch gestures, so overall they're better. But it's still a very good trackpad in the MacBook Air. The laptop also has two USB ports, a Thunderbolt port, an SD card reader, which is only in the 13 inch, and a MagSafe charger, which is, in my opinion, is still one of the best chargers for a laptop, and is a great shame they removed it from the newer Macs. The MacBook Air still has a very good selection of ports, and in my opinion, it is a better selection than you currently find on the MacBook with its one USB-C port, which is pretty limiting, and maybe even on the new MacBook Pro line with the two or four USB-C ports, because it means you end up having to have lots of adapters and that can be quite frustrating. Meanwhile with this, you don't necessarily have to have the adapters and it means you can go dongle free and that can make your laptop look much better and you have to buy less stuff and it can be end up being cheaper and, and better. Now let's look at the display and I feel this is where the MacBook starts to really fall down. Apple haven't seemed to want to update this product for many years now and it's beginning to show its age. Firstly I feel the bezels are much larger than they need to be for a modern laptop and I prefer them to be black and, and covered in glass and like uh, in the other MacBooks such as the MacBook and the MacBook Pro and I think that much looks much more sleek and modern. Meanwhile the resolution of the display is 1440 by 900 which is lower than the 1080p uh, standard of most laptops. And that low resolution you can really see the lack in pixels nowadays compared to, to a high resolution laptop of this size. And that's slightly disappointing and I wish that would be updated because then the MacBook Air would still be a great laptop. Which it still is but it would be an even better great laptop. The performance of the laptop is of ultrabook quality and it has the option for i5 and i7 ultrabook processors. While the processor isn't much good for heavy gaming or video editing, it's still powerful enough for most what most people are going to do with this laptop, such as watching videos, editing documents, editing pho photos. The laptop also comes with around 4 to 8 gigabytes of uh, RAM and an SSE drive, with up to like 500 gigabytes. Now the battery life in this laptop has been touted as 12 hours, and in my testing, this laptop comes very close to that, which is impressive for any laptops at the moment and it will allow you to use it all day without charging which is which is pretty good. Overall this laptop is still a good product even though Apple has not updated it for many years. Instead they seem to be focusing on the thinner but less powerful MacBook and the thicker but more powerful MacBook Pro which I feel have some problems with them such as the lack of certain ports and the fact that you have to use loads of dongles for them, which I don't really feel I really want to use right now. If you can get a MacBook Air cheaper than Apple is offering it, because I don't feel it's really worth the, the price they're asking. It might be worth it if you can, if you really want a Mac, or if you can get it slightly cheaper, it would definitely be worth it. 
Um, and if you can get it cheap and you really want to get a Mac, I would recommend it because this is still an impressive piece of hardware and will serve you well for a long time to come. So I'd like to thank you for watching Riverside Tech. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.